Okay, everybody's asking me. It's it can be very confusing to look at Premiere Pro and seeing V1, V1, A1, A1. What the hell does it mean? V1 on the left, V1 on the right. And then when you switch it, it's like V1 is now V2. Like why? What's going on? I'm gonna sort this. Oh my God. I'm gonna help you so much. Subscribe, check out the thanks button in this under this video because it's very, very simple, okay? V1, this left side of the screen indicates what you insert into the timeline. The right side of V1, V2, V3, V4, V whatever, A1, A2, this is a track select, okay? You can select the tracks deselected. There are different options. For example, if I select V2 on the right side and I'm going through my footage, so with the arrows up and down, I'm going to quickly see like what's going on. I skipped all those links now. I can't even go here. Why? And now when I go over the footage, bam, bam, all the other tracks are skipped. So like I'm going through the footage, but everything else is skipped. Why? Because it's not selected. Okay. But if I select V1 as well, when I go over the footage, now I'm going through every edit point. Okay. In this track right here. And that goes for the audio as well. If you want to just check out the audio in like A2, everything else is going to be skipped. So for example, this A1 is skipped completely. This is really good to align yourself with an edit and go over the footage. The V1 and A1 on the left side is just literally the insert. So if I have this video, either when you select in and out point or whatever like that, anything like that, you want to drag that footage. Let me go back to source. I'm going to drag the video only. I'm going to drag that footage right here into when you drag it, it doesn't matter unless you deselect V1 and then I'm going to drag it. I can't, I can't. What's going on? My Premiere Pro doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Because you deselected the insert, the source, okay? The same when you do for A1. And A1 is great because if you want to use insert or paste or overwrite, it doesn't insert audio when you disable it. So then you don't have to right click and unlink it, right? So it's literally actually helping you, right? And you can also select to which track you want to insert this. So if you use insert, it's going to go into V2. If I want it into V3, I'm going to use V3. And now it's going here. So if you want to line it up and insert something at the beginning of your, t of your sequence or timeline, this will help Premiere Pro understand what you're trying to do, right? But it, nothing, it has nothing to do really with the V1, V2, V3 the right side of the screen. Okay. So that's it. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you next time.